Definition. Bank vault. Solution. A bread box. And our solution to fun with the fun on television is definition. And now here's the guy with the key to our vault, Jim Perry. Why, thank you, David. Hello there. Welcome to Definition. Hope you had a nice weekend. Thank you for joining us. Our guests today are the Radio City Rockettes. Uh, the, you four were going right at it there. That's terrific. Got a couple of nice teams with us. David, introduce the first one. Well, first of all, Jim is sister and brother duo of Kathleen and Scott Curry. Hello, Kathleen and Scott. Kathleen, I think you were the instigator of all that opening dance stuff, right? I confess, I'm the choreographer, That's yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you back. Doing very well. You got two definitions to your credit in our best three out of five match, right? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, your opponents also have two, so we left off at a very tense moment. Let's meet those opponents right now. Well, the dancing brothers are Trevor and Gordon Gibbs. <laughs> Hello there. Trevor next to me, Gordon on the outside. Good to see you again. And you do have two definitions to your credit. It's a shame that somebody's got to lose this because there are four very nice people tied it two to two. And as we left off, it all comes down to this one definition. David? A certain insect on the phone. And remember, we use the word certain to refer to something specific. Yes, a certain specific insect on the phone. As we left off, the brothers Gibb got the last one. We're starting over here with the Curry brother and sister. Give a letter away, Kathleen, that you do not want. Uh, a Z? No Z. That means Scott can take a letter that he does want. An R, please. R's and Robert, one R at the end of this last word here. You've put a letter up there. Either of you can give me a guess. Do you know a certain insect on the phone? And there's a signal time is up. We go to Gordon to give a letter away. I'll give away the Q, please. No Q. Take one, Trevor. Okay. I'll take the A. There are three A's, one A here. Second A at the end of this four-letter word, and another A goes right here. Do you know a certain insect on the phone? Back over to Kathleen. Give a letter away. I'll give away uh, an X. There is no X. Take a letter, Scott. Mm. I'll take an E, please. There are two E's. One E here. Here is the second. You've got five vowels, a six flea vowels. Collar. Yes, that's right. A flea collar it is for the win. Well done. Certain insect on the phone, uh, that's the flea on the phone, a caller, and Scott and Kathleen Curry are the champions. They win this prize. This beautiful arrowback rocking chair by Craner is superbly crafted from solid pine and maple wood and adorned in an inviting fireside maple finish. Come home to Craner Comfort. And again, a congratulations. We'll play the bonus for cash in a few moments. And well, Trevor and Gordon, doggone it, right down to the wire, and you, you come back. I hope you come back and see us again. You're Thank a couple of much. delightful gentlemen. I must say, all four of you are having a good time out there. Thank you for being here for now. Do come back and see us. Gordon and Trevor Gibbs. Thank you, guys. We'll be back with a bonus with our new champions right after this. Way to go. We'll get back to the match and to the bonus after we take a look at the runner-up prizes. From Remington, the Microscreen GTX 3000 and the Lady Remington Cordless Rechargeable Shavers. Shave as close as a blade or you get your money back. Or a food processor compliments of totes. Salty slush can wreck good leather shoes. Wear light, comfortable, easy to put on totes and protect them. Totes, keep your shoes nice and dry. All right, now then, you guys don't mind picking up a little cash right now. Not no? Not at all. Okay, no. anything? Is it 50-50 here? Of course. 70-30. Oh. oh, right. Okay. <laughs> backwards. I'm there, oldest. There goes another fight. You're going to say you're the oldest? Yeah. I'm the oldest oh? by seven years. Oh, all right. <laughs> Watch as the years get old, go, go on. You, you, are going to, you are going to be the oldest in a few years. You know that, don't you, Scott? <laughs> Here's the bonus definition. Why the excellent surgeon got all the operations. Why the excellent surgeon got all the operations. Do you know it for $210? No. All right, here come the letters. They come alphabetically now. You're on your own, so you can give as many answers as you'd like. There's your first letter for $200. He had a... Why the excellent a... surgeon got all the operations. He had a something. 170. Abyss? He had a... 160. He surgeon. A... Excellent surgeon he got all. A cut above, he was a cut above the rest. You got it oh, for $150. Right. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah. He was a cut above the rest. Nice job on that. I didn't I get 100 on that one, I 
<laughs> <laughs> Kathleen is claiming 100 out of that, so she got it. Well, we'll let them fight about that, and maybe they'll fight about this. It, it'll be a very pleasant fight, because if they win five, this is what they'll get. The Minolta Maxim 5000 and 1800 AF Flash. Enjoy creative photography the easy way. It's the world's easiest to use autofocus SLR, perfect for the photographic hobbyist. And new challengers are with us. Who are they, David? Jim, I'd like you to meet a couple of brothers from St. Catharines, Ontario, Tony and Peter Shushenko. Hello there, Tony right here, yes. Peter out there. Good to have you here. Let's get acquainted. Tony, you are a computer programmer. You like, uh, obviously, like computers and playing and as well as programming. You met your present girlfriend in an unusual place. Yeah, I met her in a cage. In I a cage? Yes. Uh, when I first met her, she was uh, working for Brock University in the phys ed complex. And the phys ed complex has a fenced in area they call the cage. And that's oh, where she was working. Oh, I was going to say, she, she, certainly, I'm sure she was prettier than what I envisioned <laughs> when oh, you she's... said you met her in the, in the cage. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> Peter, you are a library supervisor. You like military history, graphic arts. You found out cats, oh, I love this. He found out that cats don't fluff dry in a dryer. <laughs> what did you do? Well, our cat loves to get into anything, and we have a side loading dryer. So he decided to pop in, oh and my. I came with a load of laundry, just popped the clothes into the dryer, turned it on. As I left, <laughs> all of a sudden I heard this <laughs> <laughs> and quickly turned it off, and it took about five minutes before I saw two paws stick out, and the cat tumbled out and made the crookedest line I can out imagine. of there, so. yes. Oh, that's terrible. And incidentally, now, that's, don't, don't, don't try that at home. I mean, that could be dangerous for the cat as well. Fortunately, the cat was not hurt, right? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> yeah, it must have looked funny then. <laughs> nice to have you here as well. Let us start the match with this definition. What you get when two prisoners get married. What you get when two prisoners get married. Both teams buzzing. We start with the challengers. Tony, give a letter away that you do not want. I'll give away the Q. There is no Q, and Peter, to take a letter that you do want. N as in Nancy. There are two N's as in Nancy at the end of each of these two words. Do either of you know what you get when two prisoners get married? Oh, I thought they had an idea. Boy, with the way everybody was buzzing. Scott, give one away. We'll give away a Z, please. No Z. Kathleen, two, take a letter. Uh, I'll take an O. There are two of them. Here's one O. Here is the second. Do you know what you get when two prisoners get married? Conmersion? Incorrect. And you only get the one guess over to Tony to give a letter away. Um, I'll give away the X. There is no X. Peter, you can take a letter. F. F is in Frank, yes. There's an F, one F that goes right here. You've got the first definition in the match if you know what you get when two prisoners get married. Confusion. That's what it is, confusion. Fusion, getting together. I, I knew it was either of those two well-known words, confusion or conversion. It had to be one of, <laughs> one of the other of them. <laughs> Challenges lead. One, you got to say something. There's only a couple of exactly. seconds. You might as well try it. And you're going to be going first with this definition. Bending a certain utensil. Oh, this is lovely. Very inventive from Eve Gallinger of Hamilton, Ontario. Eve, thank you for sending in. Bending a certain specific utensil. This might be tricky. Give a letter away, Kathleen. I'll give away the Z. No Z. Scott, this time you'll take letters. I'll take an E, please. Three E's. One E at the end of this, second at the end of this, and the third at the end of this word. First chance of tying things up. Bending a certain utensil. And we're over to Peter to give a letter away. X. There is no X. And Tony, to take a letter. I'll take a T. There are three T's. Here's one T in this long word. Here's a second. Here's the third. Do you know bending a certain utensil? Back over to Kathleen. Give a letter away. I'll give away the V. V, did you say, is a Victor? V is a Victor. Oh, there's a V is a Victor in that solution. First break for your opponents. Tony and Peter, they've given you that free guess with that V. Do you know bending a certain utensil? No. Still your turn. That was their turn. Peter, give one away. Q. No Q. And Tony, to take a letter. I'll take an R. R is in Robert. Again, a multiple letter. Two R's. In the same word, here and here. Do you now have bending a certain utensil? Back over to Kathleen. Got away with that one, Kathleen. Give a letter away. Oh, they're whispering. You are a team. Of course, you can confer. Give one away. Okay, I'll give away the L. L is in Larry. There is no L. Take a letter, Scott. Uh, 
I'll take the C, please. C is in Charles. One C goes here at the beginning of this word. To tie up the match, do you know bending a certain utensil? Oh, I thought they had it. Back to you, Peter. Give one away. W. No W. Take one, Tony. I'll take an F. F is in Frank. One F. One F that goes here. Letters in all four words. Do you have bending a certain utensil? And we're back over to the champions. A great definition from Eve Gallinger of Hamilton. Thank you, Eve. Give one away, Kathleen. I'll give away a Y. No Y. Take one, Scott. I'll take an M, please. M is in Mary. No M. Back over to the challengers and Peter to give one away. K. There is no K. Take one, Tony. I'll take... I'll take an N. N is a Nancy. One N. One N that goes here. Now do you know bending a certain utensil? Curvature of the tune? Incorrect. Over to Kathleen. Give a letter away. I'll give away a J. No J. Take a letter, Scott. Uh, I'll take an O, please. One O. One O that goes here to tie up the match. Bending a certain utensil. Curvature of the tone? Incorrect. Over to Peter. Give a letter away. S. S is in Sam. No S. Tony, take a letter. I'll take a U, please. There are two U's. Here's one. Here's the second. Bending a certain utensil. Curvature of the time? Yes, that's what it is. <laughs> had no idea what. How, I've got to ask now before I explain, how many in the audience got that ahead of the players? Oh, quite a few. Yeah. Then they know, and Eva Gallons, that's why I said it was so tricky. You bend a certain utensil. If you bent a fork, those little four things at the end that hang out, they are the tines that's of the right, fork. T I N E. I thought that right off because curvature of the spine. Yeah, so we switched on curvature of the spine, and you're with a fork that is a curvature of the tine. It is part of a fork. Learn something every day. Unfortunately, it cost <laughs> Kathleen and Scott to learn that because they are now trailing two to nothing. Here's the next definition. What a traveling band walking uphill is. What a traveling band walking uphill is. You're trailing. We start with you, Scott. Give a letter away. I'll give away the X, please. No X. Kathleen, this time to take letters. We'll try E. You'll try one E in the second word right here. But the first chance of getting on the board in this match, what a traveling band walking uphill is. And we're over to Tony to give a letter away. I'll give away a Z, please. No Z. Peter, to take a letter. T. T is in Thomas. No T. No letter on the board. No guess. We're back over to you, Scott, to give a letter. I'll give away the Q, please. No Q. Take one, Kathleen. <clears throat> Let's try A. One A. One A in the first word here. For those two vowels, do you know what a traveling band walking uphill is? And we're back to Tony to give a letter away. I'll give away a Q. No Q. And you can take a letter, Peter. H. H is in Harry. No H. Players are having problems getting on track with this. What a traveling band walking uphill is. Scott Carey, give one away. Oh, give away a V, please. V as in Victor is good. And Sister Kathleen, take a letter. R, please. No R as in Robert. Mm -hmm. Back to the Shashenko brothers and Tony to give one away. I'll give away the J. No J. Take one, Peter. D. D as in dog. There is a D. One D at the end of this last word. Your first consonant, and you can win with this if you know what a traveling band walking uphill is. Back over to Scott. Give a letter away. We'll give away the K, please. No K. Take one, Kathleen. Let's try the S. S is in Sam. One S, and it goes here. What a traveling band walking uphill is. Back to Tony. Give one away. I'll give away the Y. Uh-oh, break for your opponents. There's a Y in that solution, a Y going here. Kathleen and Scott with a free guess. Do you know what a traveling band walking uphill is? No. <laughs> Still your turn. Give one away, Scott. I'll give away a W, please. No W. Take a letter, Kathleen. How about L? L is in Larry. How about three L's? They might help. And here is the third. Do either of you know what a traveling band walking uphill is? Musically inclined. That's the phrase. They're musically inclined. 
champions back of the match, and we'll be back to the match right after this commercial timeout. To be part of all the fun we have here at Definition, either as a contestant or part of our studio audience, write Definition, CFTO TV, Box 9, Station O, Toronto, Ontario, M4A, 2M9, Jim. All right, thank you, David. Back to the match now. Champions got back on the board now. They could tie things up with the next definition, but the challengers could win with this definition. Confessional booth. Confessional booth. Confessional booth and a very good definition. And you're still trailing. We're starting with you, Kathleen. Give a letter away. The big Z. There is no big Z, and Scott can take whatever he'd like. Uh, an S, please. And there is a big S. There are two of them, as a matter of fact, and they are big because they're at the beginning of both of those words. Right away, you could tie up the match if you know confessional booth. And we're over to Peter to give a letter away. X. No X. Take one, Tony. I'll take an E. There is one E, one E in the first word here. And your first opportunity to win with this, confessional booth. Over to Kathleen. Give a letter away. I'll give away the Q. No Q. Take one, Scott. An L, please. L is in Larry. No, not this time. The L helped you last time, but no L's. And we're over to Peter to give one away. W. No W. Take one, Tony. I'll take a T, please. T is in Thomas or T is in Tony. There is one going right here. Does that give you confessional booth? Very inventive definition. I like this one a lot. Kathleen, give a letter away. <clears throat> I'll give away the J. No J. Take one, Scott. An I, please. There is one I going right here to tie up the match. Do you know confessional booth? Back over to Peter to give a letter away. V. V as in Victor is good. Tony, take a letter. I'll take... I'll take a P. P as in Peter. No P. No letter on the board. No guess. Mm -hmm. Back to you. Kathleen, give a letter away. I'll give away an F. F as in Frank. No F. Take a letter, Scott. I'll take an A, please. One A. One A that goes in the second word here. And again, you can tie. If you know confessional booth, Over to Peter. Give a letter away. A B. No B is in boy. Tony, take a letter. I'll take an O. There is no O. We're really getting down there with this tough definition. Let's look at the board here. C, D, G, H, K, M, N, R, U, and Y. That's all that's left. Kathleen is to give one of them away. I'll give away a Y. Good choice. No Y. Scott, mm. take a letter. I'll take the R, please. R is in Robert. One R. Going at the end of this word. Do you know confessional booth? And with eight letters left, we're over to Peter to give one of them away. Hmm. K. No K. Tony, take one of the last seven letters. I'll take a C. C is in Charles. One C. It goes here. You're the new champions if you know confessional booth. Time. Over to Kathleen, give one away, missing five letters. I'll give away the M. M is in Mary. Uh-oh, there's an M in that solution. A big break for Tony and Peter, and they can win with it. Do you know Confessional Booth? Sinner Sanctum? That's right, Sinner Sanctum, yes. Yes, switching on the phrase, the inner sanctum, uh, confession, you go there to confess your sins, that is the sinner sanctum, a very inventive definition, and new champions. I hope that Tony and Peter enjoy this prize. The VX857 Deluxe full-featured lightweight three-arm stretch stitch zigzag sewing machine sews 11 different stitches, including blind stitch, foot speed controller included, from Brother. And again, our congratulations. We'll play the bonus for cash in a moment. We have to say goodbye to Kathleen and Scott, but you did well. You got a, a good win, nice prize, $150 in cash to share. You are a delightful brother and sister team. You, I'm just, it looks like you're having a lot of fun. And we did. That yeah, makes it pleasant nice. for all of us. Thank you for being here. Scott and Kathleen Curry, thank you. Now our brother duo tries to pick up some cash for themselves with this bonus definition. An ordeal on a farm. An ordeal on a farm. $200 if you know it right now. Okay. Here come the letters that come alphabetically for $190. Here's your first letter. An ordeal on a farm. 
180. It's a very well-known phrase, an ordeal on a farm, 160. 150. One forty, an ordeal on a farm. One thirty. Something excellence. An ordeal on a farm. No, not excellence. A hair raising experience. No, not quite. Ordeal on a farm. Hair, hair, um. Oh, these are not farmers, I can tell. A hay-raising experience. No, no, no. But it's a well-known phrase. If you had an ordeal, you could call it a... Harrowing experience. You got it for $50, a harrowing experience, yes. Got yourself $50. That was kind of a toughie. An ordeal on a farm is a harrowing experience. New team of challengers coming out. And as they come out, Dave Duvall will introduce them. Well, I would like you to meet a cousin duet, Jim. This is Annie Doucette and Stacy Schwartz. Hello there, Stacy next to me here, Annie on the outside. Annie, a homemaker, you like art, pottery, had a window shattering experience, uh, talking about harrowing and window shattering experience, shopping in Calgary, what happened? I, uh, we went shopping, I went there when I was 15 to visit vacation and uh, we went shopping, I was a bit excited and I ended up going through one of the windows that <laughs> divided That's the mall. definitely excited, yes. Stacy was a homemaker, like horses, reading. You had trouble getting Annie to the hospital when she was in labor. What, what, what happened? Well, we went shopping and... Again? Parked the car, yeah. <laughs> and somebody parked in behind us so that we couldn't get couldn't up. Get she out went into labor and we were sitting there waiting for a long time. Oh, so that... you make it to the hospital all right? <laughs> good, good. Just stay away from windows, then. You're all right there. <laughs> nice to have you here. We wanted you to get comfortable, and we will be right back after this commercial timeout. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We'll invite Annie and Stacy, and of course Tony and Peter back tomorrow to uh, get the match going with these four nice people. I do have a moment for a pun du jour for you, and actually it is something that I saw. Uh, it was a, a sign, graffiti is often very funny, and there was a sign and it said, uh, please wiggle the handle. You can imagine where it was. I was and I saw that. Please wiggle the handle, but they misspelled it H-A-N-D E-L instead of L-E, and somebody wrote under it, then will it wiggle Bach? We'll see you tomorrow on Definition. Prizes on Definition include the T-Fal Super Fryer, fries without odors or splatter, and the T-Fal Sandwich Waffle Maker with interchangeable non-stick plates, both from T-Fal by Seb. Promotional consideration provided by Attends loss of bladder control need no longer be such a problem. Disposable Attends specially designed to help keep you dry, comfortable, and confident. And the Canon Sure Shot Supreme with advanced features such as auto flash, extended range autofocus, and many more. And Remington with the Remington Microscreen and Lady Remington his and hers cordless rechargeable shavers. Shave as close as a blade or you get your money back.